OK, so for this question, we've got to solve this differential equation for t. And we're given some boundary conditions. We know that the population initially was 1,000 meerkats. That's p would be, with, maybe we might think it's 1,000, but really p is 1 when t equals 0, because remember, p is measured in thousands. So this will allow us to work out the constant when we solve this differential equation. And then we've got to work out the value of t then when the population has doubled. In other words, when p equals 2. OK, so that's basically what we're going to be doing. And to solve this differential equation, we need to separate the variables. So what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 22 and divide both sides by the p times 11 minus 2p. If we do that, you're going to get this line here. I could put the 22 where the 1 is, but it's better, I feel, to pull the 22 out. The reason for that is we saw in the earlier part that we had to write this in partial fractions. So if we pick up on that point, when we split it into partial fractions, we got this result here. Now I can see that this 11 here will cancel through with the 22. I can just take it out. Let's just cancel that out. That will go once there, into that twice, and the same occurs with that 11 there. So tidying this up, what we have got is this integral here. Now, when it comes to working out the integral of each one of these two terms inside the bracket, should be fairly straightforward. They're standard integrals. We've got the integral of 1 over p. That's the natural log of p. And for this one here, I can see that if you differentiate the denominator here, we would get minus 2. And we've effectively got that constant 2 on the top, only we've got a plus here. So this would normally be minus just the natural log then of 11 minus 2p. I'll put that in brackets at the moment, OK? And then we've got that 2 that's on the outside here. So we could multiply each of these terms by the 2. So we get minus 2 natural log of p and minus 2 times the natural log of 11 minus 2p. I haven't put these in mods by the way, purely because, well, you could do, but it's up to you. There's no need to. These are going to be positive values because you can see p is greater than 0 but less than 5.5, 5 5.5. And that would make each of these values positive. And if we integrate this side with respect to t, we've just got the constant 1 here. That's just going to be t plus the constant c. And I'm going to label this equation 1. So we need to work out what this constant is. And we already have these initial conditions that when t equals 0, that population was 1,000 meerkats. But remember, p was measured in thousands, so p would be 1. So if we now substitute these values into 1, what we get is that that constant c, because t would be 0, we're just left with that constant c, would be equal to 2 times the natural log of 1 here. And then this one would be minus 2 times the natural log of 9. And the natural log of 1 is 0, so we end up with c equaling minus 2 times the natural log of 9. Now all I need to do next is just substitute this value of minus 2 natural log of 9 back into equation 1 here. And I'm going to rearrange it for t. So I'm just going to add 2 natural log of 9 to both sides. If you do that, you're going to get this result for t. And so all I need to do now is just double the value of p. So p is going to be 2, representing 2,000 meerkats. Substitute that into our equation when p equals 2, 
and you're going to get this result for t. Now, if you get on your calculator, work this out, you'll find that you get 1.888 and so on. And if we round this to two decimal places, it's going to be 1.89. The units will be years for that time. OK, so that's how long it takes for that population of meerkats to double. So I hope that's been of some use to you if it was causing any problems.